Uh, so everybody, welcome back right, to the I'm channel. It is your now boy Max. Today we're talking uh, Cold War live on stream. Uh, but anyways, so I guess to start off the video or the segment, um, I guess kind of like my first impressions from the multiplayer reveal. Again, the the rundown from the multiplayer reveal. I think they released. They showed four different maps. Um, Classic modes like Team Deathmatch, Domination, Kill Confirmed, Controls coming back. Um, they talked briefly about hard point changes, which I will definitely dedicate a good section to like competitive, essentially. Um, what else? I'm trying to remember what else they talked about in the review. Uh, the Pick 10 system's not coming back. Uh, pick 10 system's not coming back. Which I think a lot of people were actually like disappointed with. Personally, I was never really—I didn't really care too much about the pick ten system um, in Black Ops Two. Then when they made it the pick thirteen with the score streaks, I think it wasn't like uh, World War Two or Black Ops Three or whatever. Um, I personally didn't really care for it either. Right? I think I I grew up playing on the Infi on the Infinity Ward games, so I always had the primary, secondary, three perks. Right? Pretty standard. Um, Uh, but anyways, so pick 13 does not, pick 13, pick 10 doesn't make a comeback. Instead, they're opting to go with basically, essentially what uh, it, uh, Modern Warfare did, right? You have your standard, primary, secondary, your three perks, your tactical, your lethal. You're going to have those in all your classes. Um, there's different wild cards that you can choose, which either allow you to basically run overkill. So you have two primary weapons. Uh, you can run up to six perks with the wild card. There's even a wild card that lets you run eight attachments on your primary weapon so when it comes to attachments they did decide to keep the gunsmith which is a modern warfare thing uh which i personally am actually pretty hyped for because i have out of all the aspects of modern warfare uh one of the aspects that i have enjoyed the most has been the gunsmith i think i like customizing i like the ability to customize my gun to cater more towards my playstyle. if i want to run um, even a, an assault rifle, right, that has faster ADS speed, then I run attachments that all cater towards ADS speed. Um, if I want to run a laser beam, then I sacrifice my ADS speed, but I get super good recoil. Um, right, the trades off, the trade offs I think have with Gunsmith have have created some. For those, I would argue some uniqueness. Then again, I think where Modern Warfare went wrong, and I'm hoping that. Um, Cold War goes right is uh, the, the gun balance. I think there has been moments where, gu where guns have been kind of like balanced. And if you again, this is live, so if you're in the stream right now, feel free to throw toss out any points or debate me on anything. Um, but I felt like Modern Warfare has had some moments of balance, but especially like in Warzone, for example. Um, you know, there's been guns that have been favored over others for simple reasons. You have, like, the Kimbo revolvers that were, like, super OP for a good minute. Um, everybody liked the Gras when it first came out. And, like, yeah, it was the number one assault rifle. The MP7 and MP5 to, these, to this day are still the main subs that people run at Warzone. So, overall, I'm hoping that in Cold War, um, I don't know. The gun balance is better. But from what I hear... This is where this is where the, the negative train starts. From what I've heard from the from the YouTubers that I watched, a lot of them were comparing sniper ADS speed to Modern Warfare 2. And look, when it comes to Call of Duty, everybody, and I mean everybody, everybody loves to talk about the good old days with Modern Warfare 2, remaster Modern Warfare 2, right? You have the intervention from Modern Warfare 2, which to this day is still one of the most favorite snipers of all time for a lot of people that play Call of Duty. But <laughs> you just from looking at the gameplay, you can tell that some of the ADS speeds on those guns were ludicrous. Like some people were snapping on a people. Some people were snapping on others. Um in the gameplays that they put up, which I thought was, you know, it's obviously it's an alpha. I think they reiterated that a couple of times that it was an alpha gameplay. So things are bound to change. And I'm definitely looking forward to the beta because I do want to try some stuff out for myself firsthand. 
Um, but I don't know. It's looking like it, um, it's, I think it's, people are seeing that there were certain like the snipers were really favored, which as somebody that enjoys sniper gameplay, you would think I would like that, but also it just kind of worries me in terms of like, okay, like how's this weapon balancing going to be? Which is funny because in the actual reveal, they they talked about how they want this to be the most like balanced Call of Duty of all time, which makes you optimistic, but then. Like, you see all the stuff, and you're just like, uh, <laughs> hopefully it's not too bad. But continuing, um, the maps. Okay, I have had a fight to pick with Call of Duty for these past titles when it comes to maps. I think when it comes to map selection, we haven't had a good Call of Duty besides this game, actually that has had a variety of, of map selection. I don't even play Modern Warfare multiplayer, all right? I don't play Modern Warfare multiplayer, but there's a good amount of, of maps, I think, in comparison to like, I think of the last game, Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4 had like remastered maps, right? Like Jungle and I forget the other ones. And then maybe like four other maps and that was it. Like it was a very limited selection that, you know, just made you think, like, what happened to all the other guns? You used to get, like, I don't know, maybe, like, 12, I think, like, 16 maps per game. And then, at some point or another, we just were okay with getting six, maybe eight, but more than likely six maps per game. And then having everything else come um, as DLC. Uh, we will talk about that in a bit. Right. Um, and... Obviously, they only showed us four maps. They made it clear that they were only showing us a couple of maps, which makes me optimistic. It means that they obviously, you know, have other maps, maps under their sleeves. At least I hope they have other maps under their sleeves, and, you know, they're going to come at their own time. But if there's one thing I'm definitely hoping out for, it's that there's a good map selection. Because I think Call of Duty has been missing out on a good map selection for quite a while now. Then, of course, uh, you got, you know, Nuketown, which is, you know, the Black Ops map that it, they bring back almost every year, right? So I would be very surprised if we didn't get Nuketown. Um, but we'll see. I, I think they'll, they'll probably include Nuketown, but I, I don't, they never mentioned it, and I don't remember seeing anything that made it seem like they were. I hear gunfight, but I don't know where. Um, all right, so maps. We've talked about guns. We talked about maps, modes. Um, I honestly really just want something competitive. Um, whether it's league play or whatever the case, give me league play, and I will be satisfied. Give me league play, I will be satisfied. You know, that's all I need. Nah, but in all honesty, um, they're bringing back control, I think, which uh, was honestly one of the, so it was one of the competitive maps in, um, during Black Ops 4. And I think, from what I can remember personally, I don't remember hating it, <laughs> which is saying something, because I normally do remember things I don't like. Uh, I don't remember hitting control. I don't really remember much about the mode. Um, but I do remember watching it and thinking it was one of the better modes uh, for competitive. I, th I still think uplink is probably... Um, I still think um, what was uplink is still probably one of the better modes. As a spectator, it was just very like interesting to watch. Ooh, buddy. Cold War bringing black. No, so okay, so this is the, this is the part that I really want to dive into uh, because Aaron just mentioned it in the chat. Um, Cold War bringing back uh, blackout. No, so what they announced was that um, Treyarch is just going to be taking over Warzone. Treyarch is going to be taking over Warzone and incorporating what uh, Warzone already has going for it from Modern Warfare and combining it with new aspects from Cold War. So this is what gets me hyped. Because essentially, Warzone's getting a revamp. 
Warzone is getting a revamp, which is going to make the game fresh again. It's truthfully going to make the game enjoyable again, truthfully, from my opinion at least. And some of the mechanics from from Cold War are bound to be incorporated into Warzone, which I think it's going to spice up the game. It's going to make it a lot more interesting, and it's going to apparently continue the narrative that um, that Modern Warfare had already started. So, personally, I think it's a good direction. I think it's a solid move. Um, because it'd be a shame. It'd be a shame if they made Warzone and they basically repeated, repeated what they had with Blackout, where, you know, Blackout kind of, like, started the trend with, for Call of Duty, and then once Warzone came out, like, Blackout is tossed it aside, right? Who cares about Blackout? It'd be a shame if another, yet another Battle Royale came out, and, you know, they did the same thing again. <sighs> but what it's looking like is that every year that a new Call of Duty comes out, it's just going to get updated... Uh, Warzone's just gonna get updated with whatever, the, with whatever the new Call of Duty has. So, solid direction. I'm honestly excited for Warzone when, uh, Cold War comes out, because a lot of new things are gonna be hitting Warzone. Um, and that's kinda like the third topic. And before I wrap this all up, I'm gonna get to the fourth one, which is the competitive side of things. I already kinda talked about it as a spectator of, like, uh, the CDL League. I think Control's gonna bring back some interesting matchups is going to bring back that spice that competitive needs um ever since the call of duty league started up you know there's more attention on the competitive scene modern warfare truthfully didn't do that good of a job catering to the competitive side of the game um and i think cold war is looking like they're they're thinking about it um there was like a small segment that they dedicated to hardpoint and talking about how they've like done a bunch of trials and tested a bunch of things out for hardpoint spawns for a lot of people who aren't into the competitive scene like that didn't mean much but if you've paid attention to competitive this past year you'll know that like hardpoint spawns have been the thing that comp that um professional call of duty players have been complaining about in modern warfare for like the entire year so clearly there's some caterment towards the competitive scene if they're bothering to mention that at all so Solid on them. I think it's a solid move by by um, by Treyarch. It shows that they're you know gonna put some emphasis on the competitive scene. So solid. Where does this guy land? Anyways. So yeah, so we have that. Control's coming back, so it's no longer domination, which is good because I'm tired of domination. Um, so that'll be fun to watch. Okay. And then lastly, like I mentioned already, I really hope that they do incorporate some form of league play. Um, I think, you know, the game itself needs to cater towards that competitive desire from a lot of players, right? Having something that competitive people can do. Or, like, lately I've been, you know, playing a lot of games because of their competitive um, playlist. And it's just something about competing with others, being ranked, that... Uh, it's satisfying to chase after a rank or know that you're getting better because you're placing in a higher rank. I think the original um, league play from Black Ops 2 really did that well, and it's why so many people want that back. Um, will Cold War bring uh, league play? I honestly don't know. Uh, there wasn't, uh, not that I can remember, there wasn't any uh, mention of a league play. Uh, but one can dream, right? One can dream the verdict for me personally i'm still holding out i don't think i'm i don't know it just it hasn't convinced me and i think i i kind of fit in the in the space with a lot of other players that I, multiplayer just hasn't been doing it for me multiplayer has not been something that i've looked forward to to play in these past couple of titles it just it just isn't I, I with Modern Warfare, I maybe played multiplayer when it first came out, and especially because it was crossplay, I played with some friends. But the few times I've touched Modern Warfare, it's been because of uh, Warzone, right? And I haven't played Warzone, especially not since I've gotten my PC, because of other games. But if I do come back, like I am right now for this commentary, if you will, uh, it's because of Warzone. I'm playing Warzone, and that's it. That's what I enjoy. So the fact that Warzone is getting updated excites me, but it's also kind of a bad thing because it doesn't really incentivize me to get Cold War. Like, if I don't want to play the multiplayer as is, why, <laughs> why get it if Warzone is going to get updated with Cold War stuff? Um, 
So that's the verdict in that sense. Um, I'm still holding out. I don't think I'm convinced yet on multiplayer. Um, I know some people are really like, oh, I'm getting it for sure. And, you know, hopefully, hopefully, Call of Duty turns out to be good. But I personally can't get it. I can't convince myself to get it to, to come to get it yet. Obviously, in terms of content, it's going to be good. <laughs> so I do want to get it in that sense. But as a as a game that I would play like on like on my free time, it's not really looking like it. I don't know. I'm not convinced yet. That's where I'm end it. If you agree with or disagree with anything that I had to say, feel free to drop it down below in the comments. Uh, but with that said, I hope you'll have a good one uh, from the boy Max. Peace out.